Hey guys, Juan here. Today I want to show you how to set up Samba in the Raspberry Pi in a few simple steps. So let's get started. First, we are going to check and install the latest packages for the Raspberry Pi. So open Putty. Log into your Pi. And enter the following command sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. We can enter the two commands together and separate them using a double ampersand. Click on yes to continue. All the commands used in this tutorial can be found in a full written guide at onemtech.com. You can find a link in the description below. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi is now up to date. Now we can install Samba, so enter the following command. sudo apt-get install Samba, samba-common-bin, and press enter. Click on yes to continue. Now that Samba is installed, we need to configure it, so let's access the Samba configuration file using the following command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash samba forward slash smb dot conf the samba configuration file is well documented you can scroll down the file to see what you would like to enable but for this tutorial we are going to remove everything by pressing and holding ctrl k then we are going to paste the following here we are telling Samba the path of the shared folder and the users can read, write and execute from this folder. When you are done, press Ctrl X, then Y and enter to save the changes. The next step that we need to do is set up a Samba password for the Pi user. So enter the following command, sudo smb pass wd space hyphen a space pi. We are going to enter a new Samba password for the username Pi. We could use the same password that we used to log into the Raspberry Pi, but to make it more secure, we are going to enter something different. Okay, so we added the user Pi to Samba. Now we just need to restart the Samba services with the following command, sudo service smbd restart. All right, now let's check if we're able to access the Raspberry Pi share folder from this computer. Go into the Windows File Explorer and then Network. Let's give it a second for the page to load, and there is the Raspberry Pi. Let's click on it. Enter the username Pi and the Samba password we created. And we now have access to a shared folder from this computer. All right, guys, that's about it for this tutorial. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you on the next video.